Welcome to another React Native tutorial and today we'll be looking at geolocation in the iOS device using React Native. I've gone ahead and set up a React Native project with the React Native Maps API installed and configured. If you want to know how to do that, I have a nice tutorial on that and I will link that in the description. So first of all, let's check out the geolocation in the React Native docs. So if you go down to API, click geolocation, you can see the methods that we can use on the geolocation. Going back into the IDE, firstly, we're going to set a watch ID, which specifies the unique ID of the watch position call to cancel. And that ID will be returned by the watch position call. We're then going to make a call for when the component is mounted and we're going to get the current position from the build in geolocation chip and store it in the state. So we call the method get current location on the geolocation chip and we make a function that takes the position and we then parse those position variables to floats and store it in variables latitude and longitude. We're then going to create an object with the current position taken from the geolocation chip and we're calling it initial region and we're just going to set the latitude to the latitude we got from the geolocation chip and latitude delta and longitude delta will set to our constant. We'll make those constants, of course. I use 0.0922 for the latitude delta, which is a number I generally use for it. I think it seems pretty neat. It's basically just the angle on which you're viewing. Um, and the longitude delta I usually define based on the aspect ratio. Um, and I'm going to get the aspect ratio by using the dimensions and getting the dimensions of the window that the application is currently running in. So we get the height of the window and we get the width of the window and dividing those two gives us the aspect ratio. So now that we have these constants set, we can go ahead and set the current position and the marker in state. So you can see I already initialized them up in state, initial position and marker position. And now we're just going to set them to the new ones. So we set the initial position to the initial region and we'll do the same with the marker position so that the screen always follows the marker. We're then going to make a function call if an error happens and we'll just make an alert that parses the error message. Then we can set some extra properties that is enable high accuracy and we're going to set that to true. We're going to set a timeout on the watch to be 20,000 and a maximum age to 1,000. We can now create an event watcher for changes in the position from the geolocation chip. And we're going to do that by calling watch position on the geolocation. 
that has a callback function that takes the position as the argument. And again, as we did before, we're gonna parse those position variables into floats and store them as latitude and longitude. And we're then gonna create the object with the new current position, so the latest position. Once again, we're going to set the current positions in the state. Now we have to remember to clear the watch at some point, and we'll do that when the component unmounts so component will unmount function and we're just going to call navigator.geolocation and on that we're going to use the method clear watch and then pass in our watch id So reloading, you can see we're prompted to allow using location and I have an error up here where I put a slash instead of a dot. Obviously that's not how it should be. So you can see now that we reload, it's still in zero and that's because we're using initial region down here in the map view. We should use the region prop now that we want to update it. And there you go. So you can see it keeps moving and the map updates every time it moves and follows it along. Um, and I'm basically using, in the iOS simulator, you can, up in the menu, you can click debug and in the bottom you can choose location. And then there's this freeway drive that basically just has a arbitrary geolocation, like a car driving on a freeway. And you can then track that one. So yeah. That's it. You can then build this to your phone. And it will use your actual geolocation chip to know where you currently are and it will update if you're moving along. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give it a like and consider subscribing for future videos. And if there's anything else you would like to see in the future, do leave a comment and I'm sure we can figure out how to make a tutorial for 